I'm alive. I swear I'm alive. <sighs> I swear. <clears throat> Good morning. I don't promise that Swendu's schedule is going to be consistent at all for the near future, but I do promise to keep you all updated on when things are happening, if things are happening, on my Facebook pages, which you can find a link to down below. Turns out being a senior in college is really busy. I wouldn't recommend it. But I want to increase the quality of Swen Duke episodes. So here's some new music, a new background, and some cool transitions. All right, with apologies out of the way, let's get right into the meat of things. So did you know that women in Saudi Arabia aren't allowed to attend sporting events? I didn't, but next year that will be a thing of the past. Yeah, thing is, Saudi Arabia has some of the most restrictive rules against women in the world. But Prince Mohammed bin Salman plans to change all that with his Vision 2030 plan, whose goal is to increase women employment through the means of equal rights. And you know, I've covered something like this in another episode, but this is really just the first step. Freedom is an addicting thing, and once you've had a taste, it's not long before you want more. Also, quick update, uh, I found this just as I started editing this video. Um, it turns out that next year women in Saudi Arabia will be able to drive too, so, you know, baby steps. Now, who wants to see a fat raccoon stuck in a sewer grate? <laughs> a little punk. I mean, oh no, what a tragedy for animals everywhere. Yeah, okay, I know raccoons are cute, but come on, they dig through your trash, they make a mess, and they're super annoying. But either way, regardless of how you feel about them, you'll probably be happy to know that the little guy, with the help of some human friends, was able to get out of the grate and is okay. Now he's free to pillage your trash again. Alright, so as a kid, the absolute worst place to go is definitely the doctor's office. Hell, I'm not really too fond of going there as an adult. So, try to put yourself in the shoes of a kid who has to get an MRI scan. Not only do you have to go to the hospital, but your parents probably have told you that it's for something rather serious. Then you go into a doctor's office, it smells like dead dreams, and they put you in a tube that's very loud and noisy for anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. And yeah, I can see why a kid would kick and scream the whole way, crying while they're inside the tube and being traumatized when they finally get out. Well, I doubt that would happen if they had to go into a machine like this. Yes, in an attempt to make these scary pieces of equipment more fun, Doug Dietz set about making the absolute coolest MRI machines I've ever seen. Here's one where a kid goes into a canoe, and then on the inside, it shows fish jumping over the kid. There's even one that looks like a sleeping bag, and when the kid goes inside of it, they get to see the top part of the MRI machine as a starry night, so they get the whole camping experience. Knowing that these children will be able to get through their procedures makes things all the more worth it, says Doug. I for one hope that this inspires more people to get creative with the doctor's office and any other part of life that kids find terrifying. Let's make things fun. Children have such wide imaginations that surprising we don't take more advantage of it. I want to see an MRI machine that looks like a Super Mario pipe. Make kids go into the Mario world. That would be awesome. I always kept in my mind that frightened child that was going through cancer or that was really having some problems going through their scan. And that is such a tough thing for a little one. And it's such a tough thing for a family. And I did put my heart and soul behind it. And it, it means a lot to me now that we have a solution and that the solution is helping the way it is and it's helping these families. And there you have it. I'll see if I can keep things going. I want to avoid another two week hiatus, but school is making that rather difficult for me. I'll see you next week, hopefully. And until then, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving.